Hello, I'm Jesse Martinez, Director of the Office of Multicultural Affairs here at the University of Idaho, and really excited that you have shown interest in, in looking at the different services and opportunities here today. We'll share with you a little bit more on how we are very committed to you and your family's success here at the University of Idaho. Hi, my name is Corinne Bond, and I'm an Academic Retention Specialist with the Office of Multicultural Affairs. We're excited to tell you more about our office and the services that we provide. We're also excited to hopefully uh, get to know you and, and learn more about you and your families uh, as you look into your, your journey here at U of I. The Office of Multicultural Affairs is part of the Equity and Diversity Unit here at the University of Idaho. Other offices and departments that are part of the Equity and Diversity Unit include the College Assistance Migrant Program, the Women's Center, the LGBTQA Office, and the Native American Student Center. All of the offices come together and provide a welcoming, safe, supporting environment for all of our students. All of our offices are part of a bias response team here at the University of Idaho. If any of our students is not feeling welcome, safe, or included, we are a great resource to not only share in those situations that any of our students are feeling, but most importantly, for us to address those situations. The staff at the Office of Multicultural Affairs pride ourselves in making sure that we build a relationship with our students, but also with our families. In the next few minutes, you're gonna be hearing on how we do that through a cultural responsive lens, build those relationships with our family, students, and also with our community. One of the first areas that our students benefit tremendously from our services is leadership opportunity. You're gonna be hearing a little bit more on how, through the Office of Multicultural Affairs as a student, you'll be able to engage across campus with other students and faculty and staff, and also being involved with other student organizations. These opportunities create networking opportunities for you and other students across campus. You're also gonna learn a little bit more about our several on-campus cultural programming that we have throughout the year. And you will also be hearing more about our high-touch, high-impact academic services that we provide to our students and families. At the Office of Multicultural Affairs, we like to say two things. The first is that we're a one-stop shop, so you can come to our office for anything, anytime, related to any aspect of your college career and your college experience. The second is that we like to operate as a home away from home. So one of the ways that we really try to build a sense of community and welcoming on campus is by having a physical space for student use. Uh, so we do have staff offices, but then we also have the Student Diversity Center. This is located in the Teaching Learning Center, room 229, right next to our staff offices. This is a, a student lounge space that is, is completely available and open to all students, uh, regardless of if they're connected to our office or not. This is a, a place where students can um, zoom into classes, can study, they have access to personalized tutoring, they can form study groups with their peers, and they can also meet and connect with student organizations across campus. In addition to our physical location, we also work to build community and a, a sense of belonging and engagement at the university through our many multicultural student organizations that are connected to our office. We do have student organizations for all sorts of different interests, we have organizations uh, that focus on social justice and campus activism. We have organizations that focus on different majors. So for example, we have an organization that's geared towards uh, business professionals and, and students who are in leadership and business roles. Um, we have uh, multicultural Greek organizations that are focused on connecting our multicultural students with one another and engaging in community building, activism, and philanthropy on campus as well. We also have academic organizations that are more focused on academic success and, and the various majors and, and classes that you're in. So there really is absolutely a multicultural student organization um, for every student that intersects with all sorts of different types of interests that are available. Those organizations also uh, do programming on campus, they host events, and really try to come together to create that inclusive community-based environment. Two other aspects of working with our office that contribute to that sense of belonging on campus include our peer mentoring program. 
program. And this is a program where students can opt in to be connected to an academic peer mentor on campus. This is usually a student who is older, uh, so they're in their sophomore years and on, and normally a student who is connected in some way with our office or one of the other equity and diversity units. For this peer mentoring program, we really try to be very intentional about connecting students. Um, so we look at, are you interested in connecting with students based on your interests, your hobbies, maybe based on your major? And connecting with an older peer is a great way to learn more about the opportunities available to you at U of I, the different um, social ways to engage on campus and in the community, as well as the different options available to you in your major path as well. So it can be really great to connect with students who better understand your major program, who can give you advice on the classes to take, who can kind of provide feedback on what that academic experience is going to look like. Those mentors also host uh, socials throughout the academic year. This semester that looks like uh, Zoom socials where you know they host game nights or trivia events uh, that include prizes and really those are just a chance to, to connect with other students, to have fun, to relieve some stress and, and kind of remember to not just focus on the academics and also um, connect with your peers. In addition, we do a lot of programming with our campus partners. So these are other offices, uh, including student support offices across campus. And one of the reasons that we bring in a lot of uh, workshops and events and build a lot of connections with our campus partners is because it can be really overwhelming trying to learn about all of the different resources and offices that are available to you at the University of Idaho. So in partnering with different offices, bringing them into the Student Diversity Center, providing you with, with different workshops. That's a great way to learn about all those different resources over time during your first year on campus. It's a way to start getting involved with those offices. There is an office that touches on all sorts of different interests. The Career Services Office, for example, is one that our students really tend to enjoy connecting with. We have students who go on to be interns with Career Services if they're interested in helping and guiding other students in professionally developing. The Women's Center on campus is another office our students really tend to enjoy working with. That's an opportunity to connect with other students especially through the lens of gender equity on campus. Another campus partner that our office works closely with is the Counseling and Testing Center. And this is a tremendous resource that our, our students really tend to benefit from. They do provide a variety of different counseling services from personal one-on-one -on -one counseling to group counseling to workshops on mental health, taking care of yourself, adjusting to the changes that come with college. And in these partnerships, we also try to look specifically through a multicultural lens. So in the past, we've partnered with the Counseling and Testing Center to produce workshops where our students can talk about what it means to be a multicultural student on campus and have a safe space to engage in conversations about racial, social justice, and also just the, the multicultural student experience. So in bringing these campus partners uh, to our office spaces and integrating them into um, our own office operations, um, that's just another way that you can have sort of a, a streamed line connection uh, to different operations and, and services across campus. Multicultural education is an important aspect of all students' experience here at the University of Idaho. We work very closely with faculty, staff, and students throughout campus to create engaging, interactive, and very informative programming. One of the first aspects in strengthening your multicultural education is by participating in different Heritage Month events that the Office of Multicultural Affairs sponsors. We celebrate Latinx Heritage Month, Black History Month, Native American Heritage Month, and also Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. These are very important events and programs to be making sure that our students continue to increase their cultural competence. One of the first aspects that we want to make sure is that all of our students, when they graduate from the University of Idaho, can go work and engage with people from diverse backgrounds. Cultural celebrations are also very important. It's important to also celebrate and honor our diverse heritages. Some examples of cultural celebrations is our Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. celebration, our Dia de los Muertos celebration, amongst others. We also like to have fun. We do and participate in, uh, in many social activities. At the beginning of the year, we actually engage in several fall startup programs. We have an orientation specifically for our students to be making sure that our students are feeling connected and feeling the way around campus. We also go on a retreat. This is an opportunity for our cohort, a group of our students, to learn from one another and share their story. 
The Equity and Diversity Unit Game Day and End of the Year Socials are also other programs that we do to be able to engage and interact with other students from other programs such as the LGBTQA Office, the Women's Center, the Native American Student Center, and the College Assistance Migrant Program. These programs are designed to make sure that our students are building their community in a very enjoyable and fun way. Our office provides academic support in a number of different ways. One of the primary ways that we do this is through a structured academic support program called the Diversity Scholars Program. We have several goals in implementing this program, and the first is to really help provide support and guidance during your transition to the U of I. When you first arrive on campus, there's a lot of new things being thrown at you, a lot of new experiences, different challenges and changes in your schedule to adapt to, and one of the, the things that we we do with the program is provide a lot of structure and consistency and support from the very beginning so that you don't have to navigate those challenges alone. The first way that we provide this academic support is through a class. It's a first year OMA transition seminar class. This class is offered in the fall semester and does two things really. The first is it provides a space where you can connect and build community with other multicultural students. It also provides a space to start to explore many of the different facets of your college career. This class focuses on a lot of projects that are going to set you up for future success. So we engage in a major exploration project, a career project uh, where students uh, job shadow someone in a field they're interested in moving into. We do a scholarship and an internship project. We do different scavenger hunts where students explore different spaces and resources on campus. We also bring in guest speakers to provide more information about the different services and opportunities opportunities that are available to you at the University of Idaho. In addition to having a class that covers sort of a larger umbrella of topics uh, when it comes to what is available to you at the University of Idaho, we also have more personalized academic support that's built into the program. And we do this in a couple of different ways. The first is we do hold regular weekly study table in the Student Diversity Center. This is a time where students carve out space for studying in their schedule. They come into the Student Diversity Center and there they have access to connect with peers who are in the same classes as them. They have access to tutors who are available for their classes, or they can also just sit down, work on their homework, study for exams, really kind of carve out active and intentional time for their classwork. Another way we do this is through monthly academic advising meetings with an OMA advising staff member. And this is time where we sit down together, go over the classes that students are in, talk about what's going well, some of the challenges they're facing, and really try to develop a personalized academic support plan to make sure that the students' needs are being met. This goes hand in hand with monthly grade checks and really what these grade reports are. They're a chance for students to break the ice and connect with their instructors. Students may be in classes that have hundreds of other students, so big lectures have, have a lot of students in attendance. They may not get as much face time with their instructor, so building in these grade reports are a way that we encourage the students to reach out to their instructors, start to get to know them, start to build those relationships. And then there's also the added benefit of being able to keep track of their grade, understand where they're at in the class, and make sure that they're happy with their progress. So those are, are some of the academic support guidelines that we build into the Diversity Scholars Program to make sure that students are feeling very comfortable, confident, and really happy with their academic experience in their first year of college. Our office also hosts several monthly workshops to be making sure that our students are being prepared for what's ahead of them. Every year, we host a FAFSA workshop with our campus partners from the financial aid office to be making sure that all of our students feel very confident and, and most importantly, file their FAFSA by the priority deadline of December 1st. FAFSA can definitely be a nerve-wracking process for many of our students. So we wanna be making sure that we have the adequate support for you to complete those in a timely manner. Career preparation is a very important aspect of the services that we provide. There's many students that already know what they want to major in, but we also have a group of students that not necessarily are aware of what exactly they want to study. Through our office and through our freshman seminar course, you will hear a little bit more about how we also help with making sure that our students are confident in the career that they're choosing, but also the steps needed to be making sure 
that our students have a career path. Also, that change from high school or from a community college to the University of Idaho could also create new changes. Many students find themselves having too much time. We make sure that we're working with students and providing different options on how to manage your time. Time management is very critical. I tell students that everyone can definitely be successful in any career of your choice. The critical aspect is, can you manage your time and put the adequate time for your studies? Through our office, we make sure that not only do we provide the different tools and also different options and ways on how you can manage your time. And you'll find a way that will work for you to be making sure that you're putting the appropriate time into your studies, into your extracurricular activities, and most importantly, a time for you to enjoy yourself. Another major aspect of the Office of Multicultural Affairs is recognizing your accomplishments. Not only will the staff be able to write letters of recommendations for different internship opportunities, for different awards, but we're also gonna be there to recognize your ultimate achievement of graduating from the University of Idaho. Our office is very committed to your success. Throughout your journey, we're gonna be pushing you to be making sure that you're maximizing your time at the university. And we're also gonna be there to celebrate. The staff will be there along with your family to recognize your accomplishments of graduation. Please feel free to reach out to us anytime with any specific questions that you might have and for us to find a way in how we can work together during your undergraduate time at the University of Idaho. Thank you all for, for tuning in today and, and being here with us. We really are looking forward to the opportunity to speak more with you and your families, to stay up to date on the different programs that we provide and the different opportunities available. Please feel welcome to follow us on social media. There we post about upcoming events. We highlight different student organizations. We also feature uh, different students who are involved in our office. So that's a, a great way to connect and, and keep up with us. Um, but otherwise, thank you for joining us today.